Alright guys, this is a quick video comparing the Galaxy S1 versus the Galaxy S2 on AT&T. On the left, the original Galaxy S is Samsung i9000. On the right, Galaxy S2, Samsung i9100. Um, both of these phones have AT&T SIM cards on them. Just pop this up real fast. Well, the first thing that you're going to realize about the Galaxy S2 is incredibly light. If you were complaining of how light the Galaxy S1 felt, I mean more so the i9-1000 and possibly the Vibrant and the Fascinate, you'll be really shocked when you pick up the Galaxy S2. It's amazingly light and quite remarkably thin. Alright, both of these have uh, at t SIM cards in it. Um, people were asking last year if uh, both of these phones were compatible. Well, if the Galaxy S phone was compatible with the US AT&T 3G band. Yes, it was, but only on one of them, on 1900 frequency. I'll just show you real fast um, a display of which bands it's connected to. It's a uh, star pound 0011. Alright, you can see it's stuck on the 1900 and the Galaxy S1. And for the Galaxy S2, you would see it randomly switch back and forth between 1900 and 850. I believe it switches to 850 when it's about to um, go in an idle state. I can't really say for sure. It's totally random, but I observed. No, it didn't even. Yeah, it didn't even wait that time. I observed it happen around when it's about to go in an idle state of the phone. It's not switching now. Let me zip it in. You can see it's on 3G. But when it goes on, uh, when you start using data, you see the H H plus come on, and it's not doing it right now. Let me um try using some data. Yeah, this is totally random. I honestly don't know how it works between when the bands are switching. Alright, let's just uh, test something. Use Dado. You see? H plus. And now. Um, Neither. Oh, yeah, ATT. Let's try this again. Let's see if we could pull it up. Mm, 1900. Yeah, this is a kind of an odd thing to get recorded in the video because it's totally random. Um, let's see if we could get it to show. There we go. It just switched. See. All right. Let me try to do. Something for the switch back. Actually, I won't even waste my time trying to do that because I have no idea how to make it switch back to 1900. But as you can see, it's um, it's total random. It just switches back and forth. All right, let me do a speed test. Where's the button? Oh, here we go. Crap. No, here we go. Not really getting the HSP plus piece that we expect to get. You know, it all depends on the area. Like AT and T in New York is very congested, and you, know, you can't really expect to get the full performance from uh, HSP plus over here yet. Um, right now, I got 1.6 over 1.3, 1.2 was over 1 1.3. But history would show I've managed to pull 3. Point something earlier today, 3.5 to 1. 
right here. And this was up in the city, in a uh, actually in Manhattan. And uh, let me see if I have any remarkable results. No, I haven't. I probably deleted them all. Yeah, I lost everything when I installed um, Gingerbread on this one. Speaking of which, this is running Android version 2.3.3, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just pull it up. Yeah, there we go. And um, I guess that's it for now. 